Awesome, guys. All right, ready? Give yourself some hugs. Let's get our bodies warmed up. We'll get our heart rate up a little bit. Let's start with our marches. Pulling down. If you want to get your heart rate up a little bit, get those arms really high as you go. Nice. I'll turn this way so you can see me. Jenna M. Crushing it. I know we're going to have some people on the replay. I know Judy's joining us later. I know my mom will be joining later. So I just want to say hi to them. You guys have been amazing. Don't forget, if you got music, I highly encourage you to turn it on. Let's, uh, let's keep marching. We're going to do a little coordination. Keep marching. And we're going to go little baby arm circles. Little tiny arm circles as we... Keep getting ourselves warmed up. Go backwards with your arm circles. You guys keep going. I'm gonna back everything up because I'm realizing that uh oh that you can't see me the whole my whole body. So we'll do some camera work. Maybe that's a little bit better. I gotta turn you. Sorry. Keep it up. Hi Sally. What's up? Kathy's here. <laughs> Kathy, get up off your couch. You can binge watch me. Instead of Netflix. Kathy, what are you watching on Netflix? I need new Netflix shows. Has anybody else watched? Ashamed, I'm ashamed to admit that we finished the Tiger King last night. Let's go backwards. You can stop marching. Just go backwards with your arm circles. I was so tempted to open up today with, hey, all you cool cats and kittens. Maybe I'll start doing that. I may or may not have our Halloween costume for next year. Then can I? Nice, good work guys. Give yourselves another hug right here. All right, let's get right to uh, our kicking back and away. Remember, if you need your chair, your countertop, then you use it. If you don't, then don't use it. Um, and remember, you should be feeling this in the outside corner of your butt muscle. If you wanna make this more challenging, don't let your toes rest in between every rep. If you need it to be a little bit easier, you can rest your toes down in between. Um, keep going, remember 45 degree angle back and away. Remember to keep a little bend in your right leg as you go. We got three left, ready? Three, two, one, nice, switch it up. Remember, keep that leg as stiff as you can. Remember to keep your, your torso upright. No leaning forward, no hunching over. Just backing away. Lots of cues on this. Make sure that your uh, your hips stay forward too. So everybody kind of wants to cheat and they turn their hips out. Don't turn your hips out. Keep them locked in, facing forward. We got 10 left. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Feeling it right here. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah. Let's go right to hammies. Little hammy strength. All right. Uh, right from here. Soft bend in your right leg, Keep, bring your, bend your left knee, point your heel towards your butt, kick your knee behind you, all right? And this one, instead of we're used to bending our knee towards our butt, this time you're gonna keep it as close to your butt as you can get it, and you're gonna go gentle kicking backs, all right? Like a mule or a donkey. Remember, up nice and tall. Show me all five foot whatever of you. I don't think we got anybody who's four foot, and I don't think we have anybody who's six feet. I, I might be the closest, but let me see all, every inch of how tall you guys are. Remember, keep your heel close to your butt, as close as you can get it. Three more. One, two, three. Sandy Bates, good work. Switch so that our left foot is on the ground, our right foot's behind us. I know my sister's working, so let's start kicking back. So she's going to join us later. Hi, Mo. We got 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't hold on if you don't have to. Eight, nine, ten. I think I saw Mrs. Waka jump on. Hi, Mrs. Waka. Uh, eight more. Seven, six, five, four. Keep that knee bent. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Let's stretch. Reaching on up, go ahead and bend forward, touch your ankles, your knees, your toes if you can, the floor, pedal it out a little bit so you can straighten your right knee, bend your left, straighten your left, bend your right, 
Good work, folks. Up two more times. We're going to go up, reach, 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 reach. And then come on down, bend it forward. Nice and easy. You should get a really good stretch in the backs of your legs here. Good work. Come on up. Last one. Oh, yeah. Good job, Jenna M. Crushing it as usual. Woo. All right, folks. Ready? We warm? We good? Doing awesome. Up on our toes. All right, if you are feeling stronger than you were last week, I want you to try this. Jen, this is for you. Okay, anybody else who's feeling strong? If you are, if you're good with what we did, then stick with what we did. Stay up on two feet. But if you're feeling strong, you're gonna shift your weight over to your right foot. If you can, lift your left foot off the ground. We're gonna go heel raises. If we can do it, on one foot. Okay, if you don't need something to hold on to, don't hold on to it. Right, if you do, no problem, it's there. Right, if you're good for one foot, go for one foot. We got 30. I'm not good on one foot, I'm telling you right now. It's probably unfair for me to ask that of you guys if I can't do it, but I'm going to. And we're just going up on two. If you want a little bit extra, hands over your head. If you're on one foot, ooh, and hands over your head, kudos to you. I am not keeping track. So let's do ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, stretch it out. If you were on one foot, if you were doing it on your right foot, then stretch out your right foot, put your right foot behind you. And stretch it on out. If you were doing both feet, we'll switch in a second. Switch to your left foot. We'll stretch that one out. And we gotta give our people who did it on one foot the chance to do it on the other foot. So that means we got 30 more. Ready? Who's with me? I will do, I'm gonna go 10 on one foot, 10 on two feet, 10 on one foot. That's how I'm going to modify, okay? Ready, left foot. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put your hands up if you can. Nine, ten. I'm switching to two feet. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job, Sandy. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to my left foot only. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, stretch it out, that left foot. That was great. Well done, everybody. How we doing? Good? I love it. Keep it up, guys. We're doing great. Let's go. Um, let me think here. We're going to go with a little bit of, um, here, let's sit. You're not gonna like me after this. I know I said we were gonna do 15 minutes at the end of really strong strength. But hi, Lisa. Lisa's here. Nina! Nina Lara. Nina Lara was the best roommate. She was an orthopedic resident uh, when I did my internship in Arizona. She's the best. All right, you're not gonna like me after this, but I'll, we'll do something after that you like me again for. We're gonna go mid-range squats. Mid-range, right? So this is end range, right? I'm fully upright. This is end range sitting, where I'm fully at the end of the range of motion here, sitting. And mid range is right here. This little area of like 40 to 60% of where we're going. All right, right here. So you can see my chest is up, my head is forward, my butt is back, right? As if I was gonna go all the way down, but I'm not going all the way down to rest. We're gonna do 25 mid range squats. Okay, your, your, your thighs are gonna be burning after this. Your butt is gonna be burning after this. Uh, but then we'll stretch them out. You'll like me after that, okay? Ready? So we're getting right to that mid-range. If you guys got mirrors around, right? If you're doing this, I don't know, in your bathroom maybe, I don't know. Um, but if you got mirrors around, use them to give you that, uh, that feedback, okay? Fit 25, here we go. Down a little bit, up a little bit. There's one. Down a little, up a little. Two, right here. Up, three, down. Up, four, count it out with me. Up, five, down. Up, six, down. Up, seven, down. Up, eight, down. Up, nine, down. Up, ten, down. Up, one, down. Up, two, down. Up, three, down. Up, four, down. Up, five, down. Up, six, good job. 
up seven, down, up eight. Come on, Jen. Nine, ten, five more. Here we go. Five, four, three, down, up two, down, up one, down, scope. Whoo! Good job, guys. Have a seat. Let's stretch out a little bit. Let's stretch out our glutes. So rest your uh, right heel on your left knee. Some of you guys might get a stretch just sitting here like this. If you need a little boost, then put some pressure on your right knee down towards the ground. You should feel that all in the back end of that glute area right there. And let's switch it up. You're doing amazing. Keep it up, Sally, Elaine. Way to go. Thanks for being here. Who else? I can't really see. The, uh, Sandy's here. Good work. All right. We're going to keep strengthening a little bit. We're going to keep going with our lunges. Okay. So take a look. We're going to do the same thing. You're not going to like me, I promise. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go mid-range lunges. Okay. I was super sore all weekend from what we did, I think, on Friday uh, of the full range lunges. So we're going to go partial range lunges. I'll show you with my left, left foot forward first. Right foot back about two feet behind you, maybe a little bit more. We're going to go down. Make sure you can still see your toes. Right? Make sure you can see your toes looking straight down. You, your knee shouldn't translate over. If your chin's translating over, you're cheating. Okay, so up nice and tall right here. Go about halfway down. These are hard, right? So my full range is down to the ground and all the way up. Your full range might be only to here. So your partial is going to be a little higher than that. Okay? We got 15 on each leg twice. Ready? Down, up, one, down, up, two. We're only moving like an inch. Three, four, again, if you got to hold on to something, hold on to something. If you don't, don't. If you're feeling like you're extra balanced, get your hands up over your head. Nice work. I lost track. That's got to be eight, nine, ten. Karen, good work. Eleven. We should feel this in your left glute. Two more. One, two. Right away. Switch it up. Right foot in front, left foot in back. Partial range, get right into it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going, guys. Make sure you're in a nice straight line, too. You don't want your knee to cross over the mid middle of your body. Keep going. I'll show you on here. You don't want your knee coming in like this. It's a really awkward position. Three more. One, two, three. Back to your left. You're doing amazing. Keep it up. I love it. Here we go. One, don't fall over. Two, Three, four, five. Check your back leg. Make sure it's far enough behind you. Eight, nine, falling over. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Switch it up. Here we go. You might be feeling it in your quad. You're probably feeling it in your butt muscles. That's all good stuff. Make sure you can still see your toes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, oh yeah. Whew, shake it out a little bit. You guys are doing awesome. Let's spread our feet out like this. Um, and let's go, actually, you're gonna do it with your chair in front of you, so you guys got some support, but you're gonna spread your feet out just like this. Reach down, hold on to your chair, and just go down as far as you can. I can get my head to touch a chair, and when I do that, I get a really good stretch on the insides of my thighs right here. Um, if you can touch the floor, you can go ahead down and touch the floor. If your chair gets in your way, you can just push it out of the way and go a little further. Let's lean over to our left so we get a really good stretch in the right inner part of your thigh right there. Greg's here. Katie B is here. Oh my gosh, we got a party going on. All right, now let's switch. Lean it over to your right side so you get a really good stretch in the left inner part of your leg here. Good work, folks. All right, we're going to do a little hamstring strengthening, and then we'll do some balance, um, and then we'll do a couple more stretches. All right, so the first thing is hamstring strengthening. This is a tough motion to get, so if you have questions, ask them. But it's, it's a hinge motion. Okay, so we're going to go right from 
this position to bend and straight forward, right? It's not a squat, it's a hinge, and you're gonna feel it working in the backs of your hammies, right through here, right? So the key to this, um, if you have a broom, if you have a broom, go get it. I have a Swiffer, I'm gonna go grab it. If you got a broom, go get it, because this is how we're gonna learn how to make sure we get in the right motion down, all right? So if you have a broom, go grab it. I'll be right back. Even better. No excuses. If you don't have a broom, I know we got a lot of moms and aunts and uncles in here. You have wrapping paper. I know you do because you're amazing people and you give away presents. So if you got a roll of wrapping paper, here's what you're going to do. You're going to keep it against your butt. You're going to keep it against your shoulders. You're going to try to keep it against your head. So it looks like this, guys. Just like that. So against my butt, against my back, against my head. Let me turn this way so you can see it. Some of you guys are going to round like this and you can't get it to touch your head. That's okay. See if you can get two points of contact. So ideally you get three. You get your butt, your back, and your head. If you can't, no big deal. Try to get two of the three. If that's too hard, pick one of the three, right? But again, we just want to work on our posture here, right? I don't want you guys to cheat. So all we're going to do to hit our hamstrings is we're going to hinge our way forward and back up. These are called good mornings, okay? So we're going to hinge our way forward and come back up. And you'll know if you're doing it right, if when you hinge forward, you get a stretch in your hamstring area all through here you'll be sore tomorrow from these okay we're gonna do uh two three sets of ten good mornings okay if you got questions ask them this is a tough one this is a new one okay um but we're gonna go down everything stays up nice and tall till you get a little stretch in your hammies and then coming on up you should have a tiny the tiniest little bend in your knees the tiniest tiniest little bend go down and come up. Now I can get almost like parallel to the floor before I have to come up. Some of you guys might only get to like here before you feel a stretch. Totally good. Everybody's different. Everybody's unique and individual. This is not a one size fits all uh, exercise by any means, but it is super functional. Think about it, right? Last time you went to pick something down up off the ground, Pair your husband's socks, perhaps. Nick, that's for you. Uh, how did you bend? You probably bent like this, right? And it's not a bad thing to bend like this. Take a break, switch your arms if you have to. Right, it's not a bad thing to bend forward like that, unless you're deconditioned or unless you're untrained to do so. Uh, and that's why we practice it. So again, reestablish your points of contact, your butt, your shoulders, your head, or your back, your head, I should say, rather. And here we go, we got 10. One, two, three, and if you don't have, for whatever reason, you don't got have a roll of wrapping paper or a broom or a measuring stick, you can still do this. Just make sure that your head and your chest are up and you're going to a point where you feel a stretch in your hammies. Right? Your hamstrings are in the backs of your legs. If anybody could tell me why they're called hamstrings, if anybody could tell me why they're called hamstrings without Googling it, um, I'll give you a, a special shout out. I don't know what I'll give you, but I feel like that's something my dad might know, why they're called hamstrings. I lost track. Switch up your arms again. We got 10 more. I'll actually count them this time, I promise. Ready? Here we go. 10 hamstring good mornings. One, two, Three, I didn't sh show you where my feet are. My feet are about shoulder width apart. Four, five, good job everybody. Six, up nice and tall. Keep those three points of contact, or two, or just one, and we'll work towards our three. One more, good work, going down. Coming up, beautiful. You're rock stars. I'm proud of them, every single one of you. Get a quick drink if you need it. Hello, Mrs. Weber. How are you? Thanks for joining. All right, so we did our hamstring work. Let's do a little balance, because we haven't done that yet, as promised. Let's go straight to one foot today. We're feeling good. It's Monday. 
We're ready to roll. We're gonna stand just on our left foot. Keep a little bend, make it really, really soft. Bring in your right leg up. Remember, don't let it touch. Everybody cheats and they touch their right leg to their left. Try not to. Up nice and tall. Okay, remember your chair is there. If you need it, if not, don't use it. If you don't need it, go either hands on your hips or hands overhead. That is much more difficult. And we are hanging. We're just gonna hang for 30 seconds. I'm gonna tell you a joke. Uh, this is courtesy of Jojo. This is from my mom. She sends me a, a joke, me and my siblings a joke every uh, every night before bed. She gets it from her Amazon Alexa. So uh, if you got an Alexa, you wanna share a joke with me. By all means, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, but the joke, is what tastes better than it smells? What tastes better than it smells? Maybe it's more of a riddle than a joke. What tastes better than it smells? Switch your feet. So now our right foot goes on the ground, left foot comes up, little bend in your right leg. Hands overhead if you can. If not, you're not comfortable there, go hands on your hips. If you're not comfortable there, go hands on the chair. If you're not comfortable here, then let your left toes rest on the ground and just put most of your weight on your right leg. All right, good stuff, keep it up. Doing great. What tastes better than it smells? Anybody? What did Nick give me this morning? He gave me a bad answer. Um, yeah, he didn't give me a good answer. I'm not even going to share it with you guys. <laughs> what tastes better than it smells? Any guesses? We're all balancing right now, so I don't know. You can't put it in the comments. Your tongue. Your tongue tastes better than it smells. Get it? That's from Jojo. You're welcome, folks. All right. Let's go one foot in front of the other. Right foot in front of left. Little bend in your left leg in the back. Again, your chair's there if you need it. If not, you're hanging with your hands on your hips. If you want a little extra challenge, hands overhead. You want a little bonus challenge, hands overhead. Close your eyes. Do what you have to do to keep yourself upright. I got my eyes closed, but I'm about to fall. And let's... Uh, let me think of a good category. Let's name uh, sports teams. We haven't done that yet. Give me some sports teams. Um, I'll limit it to baseball. Baseball teams. On your mark, get set, go. We got 10 seconds and we're switching feet. Everybody in my tri-state area should get at least two. At least two baseball teams. There was a Subway Series in 2011, I think it was. 2012, I don't remember. Subway World Series. Switch your feet. Right behind, left in front. There's a team that I went to school. Uh, I went to school in Boston. They would sing Sweet Caroline at every game. Neil Diamond did like a live video a couple days ago. And uh, some of the lyrics that stood out for me was good times never seem so good. And I think that's true now more than ever. Good times never seem so good. Thank you for those who chimed along and are entertaining me. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, come on back. Let's do. Uh, let's do a couple neck stretches. Have a seat. I'll give you guys a break. Have a seat. You can either hold on to the bottom of your chair, or you can reach your fingertips to the ground. We're gonna tilt our left ear to our left shoulder, and we're gonna reach your right fingertips down to the ground or hold the bottom of your chair, or put your right arm behind you, and you should get a really glorious stretch all through your upper trap area here. Uh, you can look up. Some people feel it more when they look up. Some people feel it more when they look down. You gotta find what works for you. Let's switch it up. Left, right ear to right shoulder. Left hand behind you. And we are hanging. Look up again if you want to, feel it more that way. Look down if you feel it more that way. You're doing amazing. All right, we did this, maybe we did this once before. I call it the smelly armpit stretch. Re look your, look down into your right armpit as if you were gonna smell it with your nose, right? And then you're gonna take your right hand and really gently, you're gonna pull in the direction that your nose goes, okay? So really gently pull in the direction your nose goes. You should feel that a little bit more in the back of your neck, right? The one you felt before, you should have felt in your shoulder and, and across the side here. You're gonna feel this one more back through here. So just reaching in, smell your armpit, really gently pulling down. Ooh. 
I'm coming on up this way. And then um, other side, left armpit, smelling really gently, pulling down towards the armpit. I hope everybody showered this morning so your armpit doesn't smell so bad. Nice work. All right, right from here, we're gonna do a couple arm things. I got requests for some arm, arm work. Uh, everybody needs better posture. My biggest cue on posture is the most important posture is the next one, right? We sit like this all day, right? We sit like this all day, we read and we text and we sit on our computers and we drive and everything we do is right here, right? So we gotta open up our chest a little bit. Really simple way to do that is to just practice these uh, shoulder squeezes. So I want you to pretend like there's a $500 bill in between your shoulder blades. I'll turn this way, you guys can see. Okay, and all you're gonna do is squeeze it. You can squeeze it hard for like three, four seconds so nobody takes it away, and then you can relax. And you're gonna squeeze it again, three, four seconds, so nobody takes it away, and bring one back. Good work for all my uh, females in here. We're sticking the girls out. You might be more familiar with that terminology, but I have to keep it moderately rated PG here, so I say squeeze a $500 bill, uh, and shoot, for all the guys in here, stick the girls out. Why not? That's what we're here to do. Have some fun. Laugh a little. You can laugh at me. It's just me today. Good. Another thing people do with this is they tend to hike up and then squeeze back, relax everything else. Your shoulders don't have anything interesting to say, and just squeeze yourself, your shoulder blades back and together. Good work, folks. Let's, nice. Judy's here. You made it. Nice. Good work. Jim's here. My father-in-law. Hi, Jim. How are you? Nice. Keep squeezing. One more, guys. Come on forward. Beautiful. Nice work, folks. You have done amazing. All right. Um, I'm thinking, oh, you know what we didn't do? Let's thread the needle to finish. That's, that's like a fan favorite. We haven't done that one. Keep working on our posture, right? Opening up your chest, opening everything else. So we're going to go left hand on your chair, reaching yourself through. Use your eyes to follow your thumb. You're going to, your thumb leads the way. It goes up, up, up and away. Oh, we get a really good stretch in our torso with that. We get really good range of motion through our whole thoracic spine, our cervical spine. Go ahead up, take a big deep breath in when you get here. And then exhale your way down. Two more guys, we'll do four on each side today. Come on up. And then exhale your way down. Beautiful, reach it through other side. Okay, and reach it through your left hand, up, up, up and away. Big deep breath. Oh yeah. Woo. If you are making noises like me, tell me in the comments because I will feel less weird that way. Oh. Sometimes you just gotta let it out though, right? And exhale, inhale your way up. Reach a little further. We got one more after this, make it your best. If you're gonna stick around for our strength part, or a little heavier due to your strength, Judy, I'm looking at you. And stick around if that is it for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. I love and appreciate every single one of you who has come on. You make my days uh, way brighter. Hello, Mrs. Shannon. Way brighter. You guys give me something to look forward to every day. Uh, so I really appreciate that. Um, so thank you. If you're staying on to hang out, stay on, hang out. If you're not, just say bye to me so I know uh, that you are here and uh, that you're leaving us. And otherwise, we're going to get right to our uh, strengthening stuff, all right? So, first thing we're going to do with our strength is a little full range squat. We did partial. We're going to go full. We're going to go slow on the way down, normal speed on the way up, all right? If you want, actually, you guys are the bonus people. So, since we got our bonus people on here, nice one. Bye, Mrs. Shaw. See you tomorrow, Mrs. Landon. Bye, Sandy. All righty. So, we got our bonus crew in. So, to make this a little more difficult, get your, um, let's get a pillow. Okay, really simple. We're gonna get a pillow. We're gonna put the pillow under one of our feet. Okay, you don't have a pillow, you can use a water bottle, you can use a book, you can use the, uh, the broom that you had before, 
right? Really no excuses to not be able to do this. Put your right foot resting on the pillow right here. And that means our left foot is gonna be doing more of the work as we sit and we stand here, okay? So you're gonna feel it really working in your, uh, your left quad and your left glute. Nice, Karen, all right, we love it. I'll see ya, nice. Lisa's staying, I love it. Judy's staying, of course you are. All right, so we got our pillow under our right foot. Our left foot's gonna be doing more of the work. You're gonna feel that work in your left foot more. Um, even that little subtle change, you'll feel it, all right? So we're gonna go 10, uh, three sets of 10 on each side, okay? Three sets of 10 on each side. Let's go normal speed on the first 10, and then we'll drop, we'll go slower on the second 10, and then we'll go back to normal speed, okay? So normal speed, as we're just going down, again, no flopping, you can sit, and then lift it up, right here. That's one, down and up, that's two, down, again, just don't flop, that's your only cue for today, three, and up, that's four, and down, and up is five. If you're, if you don't want to bias one leg versus the other, then just go normal. No worries with that. You'll just get bonus sets in each one. Uh, that's got to be seven, I think. Good work. Eight. Nine. And ten. Good work. Let's switch up the pillow. Okay, so now our pillow's under our left foot. Our right foot's just gonna naturally do more work. You don't have to like think about this. Your body will just do it uh, with the little bias that we've given it. So up and down, there's one. Up and down, there's two. That's three. There's four. Five. Six, seven, remember, try not to use your hands. Eight, keep your chest up nice and tall. I like to just fold my hands in front of me. Nine, boom, 10. I'll tell you what, kick the pillow away. We're gonna go two feet slow, and then we'll go back to one foot uh, regular speed, all right? So two feet real slow on our way down, regular speed on the way up. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, you can sit. Let's drive our way up, here we go. That was one, one, two, three, four, five, that's two. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, that's three, come on up. One, two, three, four, five, that's four. One, two, three, four, five, that's five, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, there's six. Good work. One, two, three, four, five, there's seven. Come on up. One, two, three, four, five, there's eight. Make sure your butt is still going back. Two, three, four, five, that's nine. Last one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah. You guys, if you want, you can give your knee kind of a hug, get a little stretch in the backs of your legs. Remember, we got one more on each side. So grab that pillow, put it under your right foot. Okay, I'll tell you what, I get bored with that stuff easily. It's good for us, but I get bored. So we're gonna go 10 fast, 10 fast on our left leg. Let's get a little burn going on our left side, okay? Ready, 10 pretty quick, right? You go at your pace, I'm gonna go at mine. If you can keep up, awesome. If not, I'll give you an extra second at the end. Ready? Here we go. Uh, just touching your rear end to the chair. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Switch your feet. Get that pillow over. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, oh yeah. Kick that pillow out of the way. That's amazing, good job. All right, grab your chair, folks. We're gonna do a little core work, core stability stuff. This is my favorite thing as a PT to do and to give people 
So give yourselves a couple feet back from your chair. Make sure you got a good stable base and try to get your body in a nice straight line like this, right? Not where your butt's out, not where it's sagging like this, but in a nice straight line that you could like iron your clothes on. That's the example I give. Okay, and from this position, we're gonna do a little bit of um, a little bit of push-up work. Okay, now it's driving me crazy to see all these people doing push-ups where their elbows come out to the side like this. When you do a push-up, your elbow should pinch your side. It should look like this type of motion. Okay, that's hard. That's really, really hard. So to do a push-up the right way, we're just gonna go down just a hair, and we're gonna stay in this mid-range area, right? Again, hardest thing about this is keep your whole core engaged. If you loosen up your core, your hips drop like that, keep it really, really tight, pull your ribs up, and we're just gonna really gently get a couple push-ups in right here. Remember, pinch your sides with your elbows. If you're flaring out, you're using other muscles that aren't really designed to do that, and you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Let's do five more. One, two, you should be looking straight over the bridge of your nose, three, four, and five. Whew. And that you should be feeling all through here, maybe a little bit in your shoulders, maybe a little bit in your upper back area. Um, let's do again. Um, from here, make your arms start, start here, like you're in front of you driving like a little tiny car. Pull your hands back so that they're at least even with you or even a little bit further back, but keep your elbows punt, uh, tucked in like this. And then kind of lift your elbows so you almost look like the letter W, right? Just like this. And we're gonna do some lat pulls of just squeezing. So before we did just your shoulder blades, now you're squeezing your whole, every muscle in your back should be squeezing it down and back, right? Grab that $500 bill again. Don't let anybody take it from you. Squeezing down and back. Let's get into a little bit of a squat from here. Just from here. And we got 25 lat squeezes. Three, four, five, six. Point your toes out a little bit in your squat. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Get a little stretch. Give yourself some love. That's amazing. Good work, folks. All right, from here, let's do, um, we're gonna go straight back with our legs. So straight kicking back. All you're gonna do, I'll move this way so you guys can see. Standing on your right leg, lift uh, your left toes, put them on the ground behind you, okay? And keeping, you're gonna tuck your, tuck your tail between your legs. Anybody here? I know Judy's got dogs. Um, I had a dog growing up, and so I want you guys to tuck your tail between your legs as if you were a dog. And against that tuck, against that tightness, you're just gonna lift back really, really, really subtly, really, um, not a lot of range of motion, but you're gonna feel it if you get that, if you got that tuck going, you're gonna feel it really good right in the center of that butt muscle, right there. Okay, squeezing both your cheeks together, that's gonna force you to stand up really tall too. We got 20 on each side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, keep tucking, two, three, Four, we should feel it in your hips. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, hold on if you have to. If you don't have to, then don't. Switch it up. We got, so now our left leg's on the ground, a little slight little bend in your knee. Lift your right toes up so that they're touching the ground behind you. Tuck your seat, tuck your, uh, tuck your tail between your legs, and we're lifting. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, up nice and tall, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, beautiful, Whew. walk it on out.
That's incredible. You guys are doing great. Um, from here, we're just gonna go deep, deep squats, okay? With your feet, let me turn this way. We're gonna go right here, okay? Almost as if, uh, if we have any former ballerinas or current ballerinas, I don't know, in the group, we're gonna go into, this is I think referred to as second position. I am not a ballerina. Anybody who knows me will tell you that. <laughs> Okay, but I think this is second position, right? With your feet set wide, your toes pointing out, okay? And we're just gonna go down into this position, all right? Your, uh, your tibias, right? Your lower legs should track straight up and down. If you're this close, they're gonna go out that way, right? You want them to be pretty straight up and down, just like this. And we're gonna go right here. Maybe this is like a sumo squat, right? And I want you guys up nice and tall. So the tendency is to lean forward with this and do this up as tall as you can get. Boom, right here. We're just gonna kind of bounce. Bounce in and out. Who's still on? We got seven people on. You guys are rock stars. This will be our final thing before we stretch. We got 30 bounces, ready? Bounce it out. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our first set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's our second set. Two, three. Bang it out. Get as low as you can go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Little burn. Little burn in your legs. You did amazing, folks. Goodness, you inspire the heck out of me. Thank you for coming. Give yourself some hugs. Cool ourselves down. I'm going to do a couple stretches on the floor. I know some of you guys are not comfortable on the floor. If you want, bring me over to your couch. You can do them on the couch. Actually, I'm going to show you on my couch because I know everybody's not comfortable getting up and down off the floor. So, my husband's pajamas. You guys maybe get to see those. And his Xbox controller because he's really 12. And we'll head over to the couch right here. All right. So, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, from here, okay? So just laying down on your couch as you would normally comfortably. Let me turn you so you can see my feet a little bit. Nice. Okay. And Celeste is still here, so you're just going to uh, straighten out your right leg. You're going to hug, bend your left knee, and hug around the back of your left thigh. And all you're going to do is straighten it out until you get a stretch in your hamstring all the way back through here. Uh, some of you guys, you might feel it like right here. Some of you guys might feel it here, right? Wherever you feel that stretch is where you're just hanging. You'll feel it more if you point your toes up towards your face. Um, this is how I usually end all of my PT sessions with my patients. As we get a good little stretch going. After you've worked out is the best time to static stretch your muscles like this. So now you're going to hug that knee almost towards your left armpit. You should feel that in the back of your hammy. Some people feel it on the outside of their thigh. Uh, if it's pinching up front, then try to go further out, like away from your armpit to the outside of your body. Because um, it, it should feel pretty good. It shouldn't be uncomfortable. And we're hanging just like this. Again, you might not feel it all the way up there. You might feel it like, I don't know, here. right? And that's okay. Everybody's different. No worries. Now what I want you to do is bend your right knee. Cross your left ankle over your right knee, and we're just gonna hang just here. This is like a pretzel stretch. You should feel this in the outside of your left cheek. If you do not, and everybody, everybody's very different with this one. Okay, so you might feel it here. If you don't feel it there, the next step is, is bend your right knee more. All right, bend it up as high as you can. If you still don't feel a stretch in your left cheek with this, you can push your left knee down and away from you, kind of like we do when we're on the chair. If you don't feel it there, and I'm pretty flexible because I do this every day, just about, because I do it with my patients, is you can reach through the hole in between your legs and you can pull your right knee up this way. This is like the most, the most advanced version of this, I guess, in the way I teach it. Um, but this is the way that I feel it most on the outside of my left cheek area. Beautiful. All right, let's do that whole same series on the other side. So straighten your left leg. 
hold behind the back of your right knee and straighten it out up. Oh man, that feels good. Okay, again, you might not get your leg. Mine's not. Mine's almost straight. It's not totally straight. I could really force it, but now's not the time for that. And now I'm gonna hug. I gotta move a little away, but I'm gonna hug my right knee up towards my armpit. Sometimes I'll hold on top of my shin just so I get a better stretch. So I don't know what happened. If you're able to jump back on, thanks for jumping in. And then the last thing we're gonna do is bend your left knee up. Again, you might feel a stretch in the outside of your right cheek just hanging out right here. If you don't, bend your left knee even more. If you still don't, push your right knee down. If you still don't, then reach through that hole and lift your left knee up off, um, in the outside of that right cheek area. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for joining me, especially you guys who stayed on for bonus time. I appreciate you so much. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks again for joining me. Remember, you are strong, confident, and beautiful. There's nothing you can't do if you set your mind to it. Uh, I'm super proud of you, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me.